righteous Georgians. A locked door, a prison cell, and a desperate prisoner, hell bent on breaking out. That can only mean one thing. You're watching history's greatest escapes. I'm Gary Chubb, and I've come all the way to the year 1716 in the Georgian era to witness an escape so audacious, so dramatic, so breathtaking. Sorry, can we wake him up, please? It's just it's completely going against what I'm doing. I'm... You know I mean? So, Lord Nibstein, tell us how you ended up imprisoned here in the Tower of London. Well, I was involved in the Jacobite Risings, trying to return the Stuart bloodline to the English throne. But I was captured, and King George, who is really touchy about people trying to kill him, threw me in the tower. I'm due to be executed tomorrow. So what we're thinking escape-wise, a frontal assault on the guards, levering out the window bars or the classic tunnel under the wall thing? None of the above. This is the Tower of London. Escape's impossible. I thought I'd just have a nice chicken dinner, a wee sleep, and then... Right. Yeah, it's just, um, someone from our show spoke to your wife and she assured us there'd be an exciting escape attempt. Also, cut short a holiday in France for this. You've got five minutes. Darling! No, oh. Oh. Sorry, I'm Winifred, his wife. Oh, right, so the escape attempt's still on, yeah? Oh, yes. Great, so what are we thinking? Blow down this wall and let loose your secret ninjas on the panic guards while you two leap 200 feet into the icy river below, yeah? No, I'm dressing him as a woman. Right. There is a show called World's Stupidest Escapes. I can give you their Please, number if you like. Get to work. You see, I told the guards that my friends and I wanted to come and say goodbye to my husband, banking on them not counting how many of us came into the cell. Oh, of course it! Then we dress him up as a woman, then we sneak him out in the middle of the group, just like he's one of the girls. You look lovely, Schnuckums. I look ridiculous. Watch this. Your husband's clear of the tower, but how are you going to get out? Easy. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, I think I need to be alone now so I can uh, do a nice wee pray. I understand completely, my lover. Um, I'll see you in the next life. Bye. We've said our goodbyes, but I beg you. Please don't disturb my husband's final prayers. Yes, of course, Candy Sniffsdale. Thanks. Wow! Well, it didn't sound like much of a plan, but what an escape that was. Next time on History's Greatest Escapes, I'll be in the Middle Ages with Matilda, daughter of Henry I. We'll be trying to escape from Oxford Castle in a snowstorm by wearing nothing but white. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. I'll see you then. I can work out how to get out of this tower. No problem. Yeah, excuse me, can you let me out, please? Shut up, Nifstale. No, I'm, I'm not Nifstale. Yeah, right. Do you think we're all stupid or something? I'm, I'm from the television. Can you let me out, please? I'm from the television. Another extraordinary Georgian escape attempt was when Louis XVI of France and his wife Marie Antoinette tried to escape Paris in disguise during the French Revolution of 1789. But what went wrong? A. Their guards betrayed them. B. The king was recognised by his face on a coin. Or C. Their coach got a flat tyre. The answer is B. The king was recognised by his face on a coin. They were captured and eventually executed.